Hello friends, welcome to the course Statistical Inference. In this course, we will discuss the topics like point estimation and its properties like unbiasedness, efficiency, consistency and sufficiency, grammar of inequality and methods of estimation like maximum likelihood estimation and method of moments. Now first the question comes what we are doing in the course statistical inference and what we learn from this course. Well, the science of statistics is broadly studied under the two headings. One is descriptive statistics and the second is inductive statistics. The descriptive statistics which consist in describing and summarizing some characteristics of the numerical data using graphs and summary values like what we have studied earlier in measures of central tendency and measures of dispersion. It also helps to identify relationships and patterns. Descriptive statistics do not draw conclusion beyond the data. On the other hand, inferential statistics does allow to draw conclusion beyond the data we have to the population from which we draw using estimation theory and testing of hypothesis. The definition of statistical inference is the process of drawing conclusions about the population parameters based on a sample taken from the population. There are mainly three ideas of the underlying statistical inference. One, a sample is likely to be a good representative of the population. Second, there is an element of uncertainty as to how well the sample represents the population. Third, the way the sample is taken matters. Friends, in inferential statistics, we can also test the hypothesis. But before that, we need to understand what is meant by population and sample. A population is a group of all statistical units under study regarding certain characteristics. For example, total number of students in a particular university. Second, the total number of employees in Maharashtra. Third, the total number of articles produced in a factory. Statistical information or statistical data is collected from statistical units. Statistical unit possesses different characteristics. And as far as the sample is concerned, it is a part or some portion or some section of the population. So a part of the population has been drawn or selected for statistical study is called sample. And the process of drawing such a sample is called sampling technique. Samples are usually drawn or selected for the purpose of determining population characteristics known as parameters. So now with this we are ready to venture to learn the topics of statistical inference and with this motive I welcome you in the course and will see you when the course starts. Till then, goodbye.